Hi guys, welcome to this video which is a final round playthrough in Master Division for the NASCAR 9 Hole Cup. Like we did on Friday, it's free to play balls only. Obviously if you do want to spend some premium balls, they will give you a slightly better chance on some of these uh, holes for sure. But if you're not wanting to do that, uh, then this will be a very useful video for you. A couple of Berserkers, uh, a few Kingmakers and one Centurion on hole two. Uh, obviously I'm going to talk through each shot in turn and it's the best shots from both of my master accounts um, put together, my shots only. Hole 5, I don't have um, a very good drive. Uh, unfortunately I clipped the rough on both of them, but I'm going to show you my second version as that was the closest. Bear in mind you will need to tweak that one uh, so it's untested in terms of a bouncing on fairway. But it's worth a go and you can still reach. Uh, with the Nirvana, but we'll explain that when we get there. So hopefully it's useful to you. Don't forget also to hit thumbs up on the video would be greatly appreciated and make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. All right then, here we go. Here's hole number one. Here we go then, hole number one. And it's going to be a kingmaker for me. Uh, APOC 7 I do have here, which is good for some extra top spin, but you can do this with APOC 5 as well. I'm going with seven bars of top spin, three bars side spin to the right. Obviously, just go with as much top spin as you can. Uh, red ring touching the rough uh, with APOC 5, but obviously APOC 7 is more accurate, so half of the blue ring at plus 2. And the adjustment here is max plus 20. So plus 2 yard mark, max plus 20. I'm going with pretty much full overpower here and the right edge of the kingmaker just outside the adjustment ring to the right. We don't need any more curl than that because the wind is going to push us. We do hit perfect, which is always uh, a bonus. Plenty of room on the bounce, and you'll see here we don't want to go with any more curl than that, and we're just rolling up there for a wedge. Obviously, a luminary ball will be very, very useful here if you want to spend one. Here, I'm going with the Enbringer School method I've worked out, and I estimate this 120% slider, and I go with 10% elevation as we are uphill rather than 20. However, I misjudged the club distance here. I should have played about 110%, and with these wind values and near max distance of club, if you are a few percent out, you are going to miss. So sadly, we did over adjust this one. So I'd have played from there. Maybe 110% slider would have been better. Hole number two, we're going with Centurion here because I was in between clubs. Well, actually went to complete min with a uh, Kingmaker. So I am going to go with a Centurion here. And this is just something for those who don't uh, really fancy going for the rough bump. Uh, simple bounce up shot with a rocket. Have most of the blue ring on the fairway. Uh, plenty of backspin. Now, do need to aim a little bit more at the pin here. I shouldn't have gone with the offset. So I would move one square over to the left. And I adjust this one mid plus 10. Mid plus 10. Obviously the rough bump I do believe is a much better chance. But like I said, not everybody fancies that. And if you just want a safe option with a Centurion, then you've got one here. We're going to take a safe birdie. Look, there's plenty of room there. But like I said, a little bit more backspin and we do need to move further left on that one on hole two. Hole number three now and I'm going just with a landing position here rather than any adjustment. We're going to go with some top spin. I think I go with four bars of top spin and we'll go with two bars of side spin to the right with a berserker. We do not need a wind zero ball. You can get over with a berserker, or of course, wind zero would give you more push. Stretch out to complete max, right side of the yellow ring touching the rough. There. Not going to adjust, just going to let the target fall naturally down. And going to go max overpower. I would like you to use a little bit more curl here. I would go with a, about half a ball of curl to the right rather than... Uh, a little bit of curl outside the ring there. So you want to go half a ball of curl. A great right. You see, look, we're clearly over the over the rough there. No worries. But a bit more curl there, maybe a bit more topspin will get you a bit close to the green. Two options here on hole number four. Uh, here's the max backspin option. 
and this will need a bit of tweaking but basically it's just a max backspin with sniper 10. I would suggest aiming a little bit further back just bounce before the fringe here and I go with max no I don't I go mid distance 25% mid plus 25 here but I will need a tweak on this one really so just watch this back a couple of times if you do not fancy the rough bump then again a very simple option for a guaranteed birdie but as you can see from the result here we do need to just alter either the aim point or the offset you know we bounced where we wanted so I think mid 25 is good but we just need to set up further back as well rough bump option here again um, I did have a perfect ball here so it's something for you to have a look at and decide whether you want to try and tweak it or whether you want to go with the max backspin option with a kingmaker as you can see just moving the ball guide around it does flicker a little bit here um, but this is setup I'm using is top of the red ring to the rough and we went with five and a half uh, bars of top spin and the adjustment here is mid plus 20 mid plus 20 I don't do any pushing up even though we adjust uh, downhill slightly it's not very much a uh, drop of elevation so I just leave it where it is after I've done my uh, adjustment and let's have a look here perfect ball yeah bounces pretty much where I want but lacking slightly in pace and also missed to the right so maybe a little tweak there might be worth a look okay now hole five this is the the best of two poor drives really but like I said I'd rather include something than miss it out completely um, the first attempt with the curl it pushed me about five rings to the left with an APOC 5 so I'm aiming more to the right you see with the spin added where the ball guide is here I just need to move this over about a ring and a half um, to the left though to tell you the truth so pause the video I'm going with four top spin two left spin but like I said this is untested plenty of curl um, and even with a perfect ball at least you know we are testing our landing spot here we just clip the rough on the right so just a couple of rings to the left bounce on the fairway we will get a lot closer to the green but like I said it's something to work with there hole six we did have a very good look at hole six uh, clear ring touching the rough on the right with the rock and I'm going with three bars of top spin and one and a half bar side spin to the right. Ball guide in the middle of the fairway. And there's your references there. Clear ring touching the rough. Adjustment max plus five. Maximum distance 5% here. And just a simple drive using the rock for the accuracy. I have hit this one with um, a minor great right, I believe, and it was fine. And you'll see here the outcome of this one with a perfect. We do have room with the good accuracy of the rock. We're not really threatening any rough here. We've got plenty of room and we have a very nice drive distance here of three, four, eight. From there, we have a very good look at the shot here with the sniper. Two and a half back spin, two bars left spin. But just need to aim a little bit more to... Uh, to the side here I believe I adjust this one mid minus 10 even though we're not at mid distance of club adjust it mid minus 10 and look at the ball guide we're offsetting low uh, passing the pin on the low side so let's see how this comes in and then we just tweak from there we do give this a perfect ball so again we are testing our adjustment which is very important for tweaks perfect away and let's just see how this one comes in. Lovely speed, but just about half a square too high. So we just need to go a little bit more on the low side on that one. We had a really good look at hole seven. I do believe with the tweak I'm going to give you here, you're going to get this one in, if not extremely close. Five and a half backspin, but I want you to play with one bar of left spin. I go with 0 0.8 here. It's not enough. So one bar of left spin. Red ring touching the rough at plus three yards. And I do believe a kingmaker is going to be absolutely fine here. Adjustment mid plus 15. Mid plus 15. 
and you'll see here maybe it's uh, just a little inaccurate pull or a pull angle thing but either way I do believe just tweaking the left spin you'll see here it comes in with a beautiful speed however we do miss slightly to the right so I think with the tweak that I've suggested here you're going to be really close I mean look at that just a little bit outside to the right that's hole seven hole number eight tricky wind here to be honest um, but I'm setting up just into the plus yardage going with seven topspin I tried six topspin on the first account needed to push it a bit harder so I'm going with seven obviously just go with as much as you can if you don't have seven bars of topspin two yards is the um, setup point half of the blue ring with APOC seven it will be red ring with APOC 5 due to the worse accuracy. I go max plus 10. Max plus 10. Here takes us up to max. So I'm going with a little bit of overpower and I'm going with about half a ball of curl to the right. Perfect ball and we'll see here how much room we've got here on the adjustment. Bounces very nicely and we're not threatening the rough here. We could maybe have gone with a little bit more curl, to be honest. But either way, this ball is in play on the fairway. And it's going to be a Guardian second shot. Now, first account I tried from the right side, needed to push up a little bit. This time I went from the left. And that's what I'm going to show here. Max backspin, half a bar of side spin to the right. I'm just stretching out here because I'm a little bit short on the drive. Um, the increased curl would help get a bit nearer to the green three rings is what i want to push up because i want to be bouncing up onto that bank my just here is max plus zero and as you can see when i make the adjustment here i do drop down so instead of pushing up three rings as planned i actually go with a four ring push up and i would suggest you do the same because we do adjust down into a lower point unfortunately can't test it properly. Minor great left, but with the Guardian 9, it's not going to cause us any issues. We bounce nicely. Could maybe have pushed up a little bit further, but we do get a good roll. And we have a simple tap-in for birdie. Hole number 9. We've got an eagle uh, on hole 9 to show you here. We're really pleased with this one. 4.2 bars of top spin, 1 bar of side spin to the right and adjusting here setting up first white ring touching the rough on the left at max distance the adjustment here is max plus 10 so we've got good references here max distance white ring touching the rough 4.2 top one right hit perfect max plus 10 adjust and we've got a very very nice layup here not threatening the rough but at the same time we're far enough down to position ourselves really nicely for a third shot. So second shot coming up, transportation shot. Go with either the big dog or the cataclysm, whichever has distance plus top spin. Max top spin here, no side spin, aim down the middle. Just max plus zero. And as we do have tailwind, we can push this one back up to max which I do here and just to gain a little bit more distance I go with some tiny overpower we don't need to go mad with this one but if you do feel comfortable going with one or two rings it will help you get a better line for the second shot uh, sorry for the third shot we hit perfect here and what I'm looking for is to get into the shadows there we go rolling nicely into the middle of the shadow there and we have the eagle now on the third shot. So I'm going to talk to you about what I do here. Um, stretch out. Look, where the pin is here, I'm at plus five with the thorn. I do believe you can use this to gauge the adjustment. One backspin, one bar right spin to align ourselves with the wind. I'm aiming just left of the pin. I found this has been working nicely for me. So with a pin check at plus five, this shot, I play 70% slider, 10% elevation. Aiming just as you can see there, just slightly to the left of the pin. And I do believe, you know, even if you're in a slightly different place, you might be able to use that pin check to gauge the same distance or give or take the odd yard. 
but this one as I said 70 on the slider 10% on the elevation and we are right at pin trickling in there for an eagle. Hopefully it helps you guys. Good luck in your rounds. See you soon.